Cheers! Kelly and I, we are getting ready for the Handmade Show coming up this Saturday in Toledo called Maker's Mart. And I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what I'm going to be selling. And Kelly also sells her crafts and she makes these, these baskets here. Annie said I can talk today. And she can talk today. Uh, what are we drinking? We are drinking this. We can't say it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's that. French and a lovely friend gave it to us for our wedding. And it is delicious. It is very so, good. Thanks, Annabella. Yes, thank you so much. It's French. And I took French, but... All right. So, um, I'm just going to run through some things that I'm selling. I got a bunch of these beer totes here. And I think uh, I think I normally sell them for $65 on Etsy, but since I batched a bunch out, um, I'm going to sell them a little bit lower at the show this weekend. I, I tend to sell my products a little bit lower uh, live than I do online because I'm because I'm competing against a bunch of other people uh, at this at this handmade fair, and I want them to spend their money on my table. So I'm probably going to go 50 bucks on the beer totes this time. Um, I got some clipboards here. Um, I don't know, 20 bucks, maybe. I'm, I'm still figuring out some of my prices. Um, this right here, this is one of my biggest sellers, these, these little wine displays here. Uh, there's a video on this, and you can find that in the link below. I made a ton of them, and I'm going to sell them for 20 bucks a piece or $30 with glasses. We have to go pick up some glasses from Noted. Libby Glass before we get there. And for all the ones that you've broken. Yeah, I keep breaking them. <laughs> uh, moving on, I got these magnetic bracelets. Uh, I did a video on this a while back. I've never tried to sell them, so we'll see. I don't know, 20 bucks. They're cool. They're cool. Uh, I got this cactus holder here out of some Live Edge walnuts. Which I'm kind of hoping doesn't sell. Because I like it. We're not keep we don't I have anywhere it. to put it. We'll find room. All right. Oh, the cool thing about this, there's a hole here. Uh, when I got this piece of wood, there was a bullet stuck in there, so that was pretty badass. That bullet's around here somewhere. <laughs> um, Great. So, yeah, some of these boxes here, uh, I, I don't know, and I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe 40 bucks for these. I got two of them. Um, I got these gift wine boxes here. They are going to come with these little packing, Aww. yeah, little little peels from shavings from the hand plane. Uh, I don't know yet. I think, I think 20, 20 bucks. They were a pretty quick, easy make. Uh, I did a video on this a while back. I got this serving tray. I think we're going fifty dollars for this. Not sure. With the bowls. With the bowls. With the bowls. Um, these are these are pencil holders. This is a uh, twelve-piece graphic pencil kit. Uh, and then I, this, this wood here is just scrap from a bandsaw box. And so then I will sell them with the pencils. Efficient. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very efficient. Here's another design, a little squiggly woo. You've done pretty well with those before. Yeah, they seem to sell a lot too. The, the type of shows that we go to, there's a lot of artists there. And so they, they like the, the, the pencil holders. Yes. Um, a couple bandsaw boxes. I haven't made any in a while. Um, these are the ones that... I've had for a long time that I haven't sold, so we're going to reduce the price drastically and see if we can get rid of them, because I don't want them anymore. Maybe 60 bucks. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. A little sad. Um, so. I, got, uh, I got that Inkra Eibach jig uh, a couple months ago, and these were the two boxes that I used to just test it out and see how it worked. Uh, some, some finger joint boxes there. So these were just, these were just tests. I'm going to see if I can off them for, I don't know, 30 bucks or so. Uh, oh yeah, I got this big old cutting board here. You saw this, this is the 20 minute cutting board. I got a couple of these that I will be selling. That one's gonna go for, I think 70 bucks. That one's real heavy. I got some smaller, lighter ones that will probably go for 50. And oh, look at it, I got, oh, I got this. Yes. yes, the beer flights. Or whiskey flights or candle holders, whatever you want. I'm going to take these little mini beer glasses and I'm going to take the whiskey glasses and I'm going to take the little candle things in there and I'm going to let the buyer choose which they, nice which one you. they want. 
Yeah. Uh, is that all my stuffs? Is that all? Oh, yeah, there's a pen. Off, yeah. yeah, a couple pens. Um, I might turn in a couple more tonight. You should. We'll see. I don't really enjoy turning pens. No? No, because I, I got about a 50% screw-up rate. <laughs> Yeah. But maybe that just means you need to do it more. I know. But the, they're quick and easy to make, and um, I sell them for, uh, what, I think 25, 30 bucks. Yeah. So it's a, it's a quick turnaround, like quick them. profit. So, yes. let's, uh, what's this thing right here? This is a creel basket for fishermen that I made at a class earlier this year. That's Throw very the cool. fish in there. Yeah. Yeah. Has there ever been a fish in there? There has not. Okay. Maybe someday. Maybe. All maybe, right. Maybe, perhaps. And What's your um, biggest seller? My biggest seller is these little garlic baskets made for keeping garlic fresh longer. And I think they're not something that you can find necessarily at Walmart. Yeah. So people tend to really like these and I can sell them for 15 bucks or so. And I usually sell out, which is awesome. Since we've had the garlic baskets, no vampires. No vampires? None. It's been... Uh, a good streak for us, actually. Yeah, 2014, um, good year. Yeah, yeah. I like this. <laughs> I decided to get a little bit in the spirit this year, um, which is kind of a first for me. So I've got some holiday items. So we're gonna we're gonna test and see how those do. So I've got a couple of these cornucopia. Ooh. I put some. This isn't normal basket material here. It's seagrass. 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 Yes. And I made those in a few different sizes. Adorbs. They're pretty cute. We'll see how those do. Um, with our, our love of you have a the, wine bottle? The beverages. <laughs> I do have a couple different styles of wine bottle baskets. And these tend to also do very, very well. Um, the smaller under thirty dollar things, I think like you have mentioned those kind are, of a lot. Yeah, those, those are the ones that sell. Hot cakes. Yep. You can't make enough. Um, then I also have a couple Red baskets. Oh, very nice. Which a lovely wooden base. Yes, that I did not make. You did not make. No, she bought them. She would not and let me make the bases for her. Yes, I would hate that. Absolutely. <laughs> um, some bicycle baskets. Bikes are hip. Which is one of those items that people always come and grab and talk and touch and talk about how cool they are and never, ever, ever buy. I know. Curses. So um, I got a couple yeah. other things. I got some wall hangings, um, some local art-based stuff, uh, like Ohio, Toledo, uh, that I don't have with me, but I'm going to try to sell them. Ooh, ooh, what's this? It's a, a tray. This is, this is nice. It's got, it's got heft. It's got leather. It, it's got wood. It's tough. It's, yeah. a, it's a badass basket. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's functional. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's set this down. Here. And hopefully we see some of you guys on Saturday. If yes. you're anywhere near reasonable driving distance, that would be amazing. Yes. If you stop by the booth, try not to hang out there for like two hours. It, mm. it gets a little awkward sometimes. <laughs> not that that's ever happened Never before. happened. Um, ever. Okay, so preparing for these craft shows, you need some things. You need yes. business cards. Business cards. So we both had... Some business cards made up. Kelly is the wooden fox, by the way. Look at that logo. Where'd that logo come from? Um, some guy I know. <laughs> I made that. So, yes. And I keep my business cards very simple. I'm not the type of person that puts on their Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Etsy and website on there. I just have my website. If you want to find out more about me and what I do, go to my website and you can pick your favorite social medias. <laughs> Um, I get asked all the time, how do you bag your stuff? I got these, uh, I buy them in bulk, these Uline bags, and they're, what is it, crap paper? Is that what they're called? Yes. And then I take, I got a rubber stamp made, and I also stamp the bags. Not expensive. These are like, what, 10 bucks or something? Something like yeah. that, yeah. Custom made, it's amazing. Uh, rubberstamps.net? Yes. Maybe. Link will be in the description. Remind me to put that link in there. So, uh, yes, I stamp my logos on the bags. I stamp my logo on the bags. Uh, I need to get some ink before Saturday. Yes. And then another thing I get asked all the time is how do you put price tags on there? And I have these little tags printed up. Uh, just it's got my logo on there and a blank spot, and on the back it says Drunken Woodworker. And what I do is I just take a Sharpie and write it on there, and then I set it in front of my products. 
then and you fix them all day long. <laughs> and then I fix them all day long as people move stuff. Yes. Kelly has, this is, this is very nice. Oh, I forgot to bring the wooden ones down. Oh, yes. Did I grab those? Uh, nah. Okay. But this is what Kelly used last year, this nice little tag. It's Again, just craft paper, super cheap. Yep. And some twine. But you got some new ones this year. I did. And they're like, uh, looks like little wood veneers shaped, yes. shaped just like this, this tag here. And, uh, I'm kind and of I think jealous. there were 50 for maybe seven bucks. Yeah, pretty cool so, looking. So I'm going to be yeah. jealous of your tags. And I said you could borrow some. You did. You did. I don't think I have 50 baskets, so. Uh, another thing I get asked all the time is, do you sign your work? And the, qu the answer to that is, yes, I do. What I will do is, get away basket. I take a stamp and I will stamp the bottom with my logo. And then I will sign and date my name on the bottom of my pieces. I don't sign my you don't sign yours? I stand them. Oh. Do I need to sign them? I don't know. Do you recommend a signature? Mm, you know, I... Does anybody want my signature? <laughs> I actually... I'm thinking about ditching the stamp and just really? signing and dating. Okay. Yeah. That makes I, sense for you. I don't know if I'll be the drunken woodworker forever, but I will be David Picciuto forever. Probably. We'll, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Things change. Things change. Um, I think people would be sad. I'm not. I'm going to be the drunken woodworker for a long okay. time. Okay. You heard uh, it here. Yeah, it's, it's like a parent telling telling your child, I'm, "Oh, yeah. Fluffy's not going to die." Yeah. Fluffy dies. Fluffy better not die. Um. Oh. Then you just get a new Fluffy that looks kind of like the old Fluffy. And oh, that's good again. that's rude. So, uh, I take cash. Kelly Kelly takes cash. I do not take checks. <laughs> <laughs> um. But we also take credit cards, and we do this. I use PayPal and this is their little card swiper that you get for free and it plugs into the headphone jack of your phone and then using the PayPal app uh, you can swipe the card and enter the price and they sign my phone with their finger. Uh, another popular one besides PayPal is Square. Do you use Square or PayPal? I have used Square in the past. I just ordered PayPal. Um, I think there's a slightly less charge, slightly lower charge per swipe. Okay. So I may use PayPal this time and I like to have yeah. a backup. I'm always really paranoid yeah. that the one I have isn't going to work. So Yeah. I use PayPal only because um it it uh it works seamlessly with my bookkeeping software. So uh a charge goes through and then it goes right into my online bookkeeping software for easy taxes. So, uh is there anything else? You didn't no. do anything with the live edge yet? I did not. I got this I don't know if I got the muscles. I just brought it up just to see if you would actually try and grab it. Right so there's this big, huge hunk of yeah. walnut. But your plan was? The plan was to set that on top of my table and then put my pieces on top of that. I haven't decided. I did buy a, uh, a cloth that fits over and, and drapes over an eight-foot table. Um, oh, something I do want to point out is I am not putting out all my stuff. No. No, you don't want to overwhelm everybody with too much choice. So the things, so like these little, these little boxes right here, I probably won't set out until my table starts to thin out. And so you don't want, you want to keep their choices limited. Yes. Um, cause a lot of times, there's a lot of studies that say when you're overwhelmed with choice, they won't buy anything. Psychology. Psychology. So I'll just put and out a few cluttered, things. it looks cluttered. Yes. Which you, isn't, uh, attractive. Yes. Yeah. So avoid clutter, avoid, avoid too much. Avoid this. Yes, this basically. this would not be no. this would not be good. No, it'd be bad. So, uh, is there anything else we wanted to cover? Oh, the other things you need. Um, these are long days. Yes. So we take fatigue mats because yes. you're standing a lot. Uh, we'll take a chair so we can sit down while we're not standing. A flask. A fl <laughs> we are taking a flask tomorrow. Uh, For later, you know. Yeah, or early. Or. Oh, early. Just later, just later. Um, I... So uh, you want some some food, some something some to snack snaps on, and some uh, beverage like water, mm. maybe. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's A lot practical. of times these places will have um, they'll have volunteers working where yes. if you need to take off to use the restroom, they'll watch your table for a little bit, or if you need to take off and go get some food. The one we're uh, gonna be showing our stuff at and selling our stuff at on Saturday, there are food trucks. Oh, so good. 
Uh, there's there's coffee, coffee vendors, vendors and somebody's bringing in pinball pastries. Yes, it's it's like it's a it's I this huge be event. I would pinball all yes. damn day. Yeah. I'm gonna only accept quarters. <laughs> oh, I also I got this guy down here. Uh, uh, uh. I have I have this button maker, and so uh, I, this thing is a money maker. I'm telling you, what I do is I'll have the button maker on the side of the table, and I'll have some little blank pieces of paper, and kids can come up and draw on there, and I make a button, a little pin for them right then and there for a dollar. So you do like kids? I love kids. <laughs> so. Uh, yes. So, yes. So, if you're in the Toledo area, Kelly and I, the Wooden Fox, and the Drunken Woodworker yes. will be at Maker's Mart. That is All day. Saturday, November 22nd. 22nd. Yes. 1717 Adam Street, Toledo, Ohio. Correct. And then 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Craziness. It's a long day. It's so long. Yes. I might be doing a little bit of Facebook video of me going nuts. It's a long day. <laughs> it's a long um, day, but it's so worth it and so much fun. It is fun. And then we get to just come home and crash. And just bathe in our cash. You might be able to do that. We'll see. Video that coming Finger. soon. All right, and then in a few weeks, I will be in Cleveland for yes. Manly Marts. I, I keep forgetting the date, but I know it's sometime in early December, and it is a craft show for men by men. And I'm thinking I'm sticking to just alcohol-based items, because dudes like alcohol. I know you ladies like alcohol, too. Thank you. <laughs> but I couldn't come up with anything better. So, Great. All right, guys. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something. <laughs>